Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com. It's Sunday morning, and it's Super Bowl Sunday morning, actually, here in the United States. And I woke up wanting to make some additions and tweaks to my Squarespace personal photo website. So that's what I'm going to take you through right here. But I also want to let you know, if you are a student and you're looking to get a Squarespace site, you can do so and get 50% off your first year. As long as you have a .edu address, you probably can get 50% off. So I'm going to tell you more about that at the very end. I'll put the plug in McPluggerson at the end you can skip to that or see the information down below for how to do that but as always you can you you can go to squarespace.com slash fro and get 10% off your first year so let's get in here and see what the changes are that I want to make first things first um, let's get to the main part of the site this is the main part of the site that lets you in where it says let me in and currently it takes you to this gallery which is under Photo stories, music, Perry Farrell. But I want to add the best portfolio images. Now, I honestly have neglected my personal website since starting fronosphoto.com because that has been my focus. But I, I also know that people go to jaredpoland.com looking to see the work that I have done to, to say, hey, is this guy credible? Does he have the work to, to make him an authority in the field? And I think I do. But I haven't done a great job of putting that stuff out there onto the personal site. So I have some old portfolios that I've ordered in the past. We, you can see up on the screen right here that the date actually says... June uh, 1st, 2011 was the last time I updated that folder. So they're old images, but I not old images, but they're, it's part, I haven't updated it since 2011 with portfolio images. So I'm going to get that updated at some point, but in the meantime, I want to put up the best live photos that I have and the best candid photos. So I'm going to throw those into two different galleries and uh, make that look pretty good on here. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm logged into my personal Squarespace, and then because Squarespace 7 lets you do this all in real time. I'm going to go back to pages and I want to scroll up here and I want to add actually a new one of what are these called folders? So I'm going to add a new folder right here and I'm going to call it best of the best with honors, sir. I may change that because it may look too big and weird at the bottom. But so now I've just made a new folder that's going to show up down here. I want to add a new gallery. So I'm going to go like this, gallery, we'll call it best of candid. I'm a, oop, best of candid, this collection is empty, click here to add your first item. So I'm going over to my candid folder, and like I said, I did this in 2011. I'm going to dress, so I don't have all the updated images, but I'm going to start doing that when I sit there and actually do that. So I drag these in here, they're going to load, they should be in the same order based off of the numbers, and boom, here they are. All ready to go in the gallery while it's loading, while it's doing something. I don't know what it just did, but it just did something. But anyway, they're all here. So I can click on this button right here, and you can see, you can go through the thumbnail view, which is something that I really love. Now, you guys can check this out on the site. Now, if we want to see how it would look on the full page, we can go back to here, click on the main, well, let me in. But it's taking me back to that Perry Farrell one, which maybe I don't want to do that. But here we have best of the best with honors. And why is best of candid over here? I don't know. I want it under here. So let me go figure out why that is there. Best of candid. Did I make two folders? Is that what happened? Oh, okay, because I didn't put it in the folder. So now I just dragged it into the folder and we fixed it. See, that's the cool thing about Squarespace is the fact that it's drag and drop. I figured out, I made a mistake. I was like, why is this not in the folder? Because I made the gallery in the wrong place and all I had to do was drag it into the folder and it goes into the hierarchy properly. So that's awesome. Best of the best with honors now officially has best candid in there. So I click that and boom, it takes me to the best candid images. So you can check that out. Sweet. But you saw how that Perry Farrell how when I clicked here, when I click on this thing, it takes you to the Perry Farrell thing. I don't want it to do that now. I want to go to action, and this is under the, the, uh, the cover page option. Right here, navigation, where it says let me in, which is this. I click on this, and I want it to go to 
Best of Candid. I click on Best of Candid, I hit Save, and now when I click this Let Me In, it's going to take me to the Best of Candid. Now that was easy, so now I want to add another page, another gallery. So under here, and I think I do it under here, gallery, boom, that's what I did, best of live. So then I'm going to click on this, and it's going to want me to drag the images in there again. So I'm going to go down to this folder that says live, like I said in 2011 I put this together. I'm going to click on the live images. I'm going to drag them in here. They're going to do their thing. They're going to load. They're going to probably blink 27 times because that's probably what it's doing is just loading the images. And, and then here's the best of live as it loads. I guess that's one of the things it has to do is it's putting together the sizing of the images for us as it loads them down the side. Okay, so all the images are here, but here's a cool thing with Squarespace also. As you uh, drag this, it shows me that this is what it would look like on a phone. This is what it would look like on a tablet, and then this is what it looks like, obviously, on a, web, uh, a website. Oh, and it gives you these things up here, too. That's pretty cool. So now I've got, go back to the main, oh, let me go best of best. I've got best of live and best of candid. So right now, best of live is selected, and then you can go through and see those images. And again, I prefer using the thumbnail view. Now there's one other thing that I want to change and it's this. It's the, uh, well this is on there because here, let me, let me, uh, oh actually, yeah, because this is in the way. Get out of my way. Shoo, get out of my way. And click here to see my latest gallery is currently taking me to the Auschwitz gallery, but I've now changed that. So where do I go to make that change? I've got to find it somewhere. Pages, home, there we go, go back to home, and I gotta find it. Design, style editor, announcement bar, there's the announcement bar. Currently, it's going to the Auschwitz gallery. I have, welcome to the updated jaredpoland.com, click here for the latest gallery, and I can change this, and it's gonna change it up here. Sir, click here. So that's up there. Oh, I should put a comma after sir. Sir. And I don't want it to go to the Auschwitz gallery anymore. I want it to go to the best of the best candid because that's what I want to showcase. I go ahead and I hit save. I go ahead, let's go back to the beginning. Let's show the whole site so I don't get any of those distractions. I hit let me in and it lets me in to the best of the best candid, which tells me maybe I shouldn't have the gallery going, this saying, click here to go to the best of the best candid. See, that wouldn't be the right thing because, well, that wouldn't be the right thing because I'm already taking people to the one site. So let's go to the best of the best of live and let's hit save. Now that's going to make more sense because when you get let in, I already am taking people to candids. And then when I want them to see the best of the best of the best with honor, sir, they can click this and it will take them to the live gallery. Okay, so that all made sense right there. So this was all done in real time. That's why when I was putting that together and I was like, oh, maybe this doesn't work as the best welcome bar because it already takes people into that right to that page already. So the welcome bar should go somewhere else. Now I'm probably gonna tweak that a little bit more, but you can go to jaredpoland.com, let yourself in there, and you can check out the live, the best of the best of live, and the best of the best of candid. That was all done right now in the time that you saw it, straight through, pretty easy to add those two galleries, change what the cover page went to, change the welcome bar, the hello bar, and make my site look good. Yes. Now, always, there's always more tweaks that I can do, but I just get excited when I can make changes like this, where in the past I had to make phone calls and then wait for other. It's a Sunday morning. Who is working on a Sunday morning in a graphic design department or in a website development department that, that would wake up and make the changes for you and not charge you an arm and a leg? I did this in five minutes. That's just adding those galleries that I wanted to add to spice up my site so you guys could see the work. So that is one of the reasons 
I use Squarespace. I've told you guys a ton of times, and I've made a lot of Squarespace videos showing you what I like and how other peoples have done their site and how uh, given you critiques of them. But this is this is what I've done for mine. If you are looking for a, this is the plug part, people, where I'm going to talk to about talk to you about Squarespace because it helps me, it helps you, and it helps them. And I'm all about the process where it helps us all, where it's mutually beneficial. I get something for it when you do sign up. You get something for it because you get 10% off when you use the code FRO at squarespace.com slash FRO. And Squarespace gets something out of it because I bring the, you guys to them because it's the site that I personally use and love and will promote only stuff that I like. So how can you sign up? If you're a student, you can go to squarespace.com slash FRO first so that it registers that you came in through my link. Then you go to squarespace.com slash students Stu students, yes, students, and that will take you to uh, a sign-up page where you can select your school, and then as long as you have a .edu address for that school, you can then get 50% off your first year. Now, after the first year, it's going to go back up, but that's like $40 off. You're going to get a fully functioning site. If you're in college and you're a photographer or a graphic designer or anything that needs a website or a musician or anything like that for 40 bucks for the first year, you're going to make more money off that site anyway. So try that. If you don't have a .edu address, go to fronosphoto.com slash uh, squarespace.com slash fro and you can get 10% off when you use the code FRO to get your site. But you do get a seven day free trial to try it out without having to enter a credit card. And I think you'll like it a lot. So that's why I use it. That's why I promote it. I promote it because one, it's a site that I use. I think I started with it six years ago and then stopped for a while and then came back when it was reinvented and I really loved how easy and functional. Actually, the reason I came back is because I was tired of going to somebody else to update my site and I hated what they did to it. It just didn't work. And then when I went back to Squarespace, I was like, oh snap, that's why I loved it, because it just worked. So that's why I use it. I have a really good deal with them that helps me and I have a good deal with them that helps you and it helps them. I only use products that I personally like. I know I say it a million times because I just want you guys to understand that if I'm talking about a product, it's because I personally use it. And that's why I reach out to them. And that's why I get those special deals. And that's where I'll leave it. Oh, and by the way, if you're the fan of the dude, Jeff Bridges, who so happens to be a photographer, uh, he is in the Super Bowl commercial for Squarespace, you can see that over on the website as well. So that's where I'll leave it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the site in real time getting made. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. If you want to check out more Squarespace style videos where I show you how I make my Squarespaces or different tweaks and hacks that there are there for it, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to a playlist for those videos. But also don't forget to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube so that you can get the latest videos as they go live.